Oh, man. What were those things? Some sort of advanced defense AIs. Oh. Related to the Sentinels, I'm guessing, but it's hard to say without a closer look. Come on, let's figure out where that transit system dumped us. Interesting. Oh, and I have this. Nice. Got one of these guys. Drop shield. Thruster. Teleporter. I want this though. Put me in the console. Alright. Where's Infinity? This is Requiem's Hopefully Coral. I should have the news of but if Infinity is definitely not here. They're surrendered the uh, Black Ops of Oni That satellite or not. in the center is amplifying the ship's broadcasts like a relay. Maybe we can use it to respond. Perhaps. Those beams coming off it are creating the interference we've been experiencing. We'd have to take them out to contact Infinity. Can you get us there? Opening a gate to the first beam pylon. Pull me, and let's go. All right. This is the first pylon? Negative. This is as close as I could get us. Hope you don't mind hoofing it a little. Contacts! All right. Doing this again. the same things we saw in the terminus similar cortical footprint as the tower AIs. Right. they're connected all right maybe uh Look out! oh god well he's just a ray of sunshine isn't he from that peak under the hood i'd say these constructs must be mimetic in nature them similar phasing activity at the edge of our sensors we're about to get busy whoa I saw sentinel that was one of the dangerous sentinel they're just watching me I've discovered something interesting about our new friends. When the big ones explode, that momentary flash we're seeing is actually a data purge. Can you tap into it? So far, I've pulled multiple strings referring to the big ones as Promethean Knights. Beyond that, though, things get a bit dense. Right. Hopefully the war should be over soon. Uh, they're like flashing in between like pink and orange. Interesting. Oh. That one was a little bit different. They seem familiar though, the design. Like something that I forgot. 
from the alternate timeline. Like... Let's test this out. Maybe this will actually do good. The relay interference is increasing. We must be getting close to the pylon. Nah, it's a bit too slow. Feels like it should go a little bit faster. Oh, and all the weapons are gone. Yay. I thought back when the two timelines were split. Oh yeah, they're... these guys are Promethean soldiers. And the alternate design of the Promethean knights are like... Is it just me or are we seeing more of these it's things? It's possible the Prometheans the don't want us using their reading. Really. What's that distortion? That's me. Something about moving through those portals is increasing the load on my systems. Are you gonna be all right? Don't worry. I've held off rampancy this long, haven't I? That's the target. It looks like the entrance is shaking. Like that stopped you before. Let's figure out how to take it down. Need to the surrender soon. But yeah, I forgot about these guys. One of the shield's power cores. Take it out. Two more cores on our it's level. like the whole part of my Hit them before you climb all the way up. Like, you know, I was unridden or something. This was definitely easier when sales get help. On my own, it's actually all the harder. Chief, one to go. Oh man. Alright, as long as he doesn't bother me, I should be fine. Great, that's all the cores. Head for the top of the pylon.
Yeah. Uh, I should check on how things are going. Chief, look at this. From law. That's Requiem. They're not inside at all. They're moving into orbit. Hey, look, how are things going? Ah. Uh, Find Jimmy. Did he say forward unto dawn? They must have intercepted our distress. Well, uh, we're almost done, I think. The with us. If they try to follow it, they'll this get war in should the be over well. momentarily. I'll keep trying to warn them. You just get now that beam Steven's down. Now dead, you know. You know, should be fine. Yeah. That's the beam control. Now just tell me when you're done. It's working. The signal yeah, from the relay I'll is starting you know to clear up. When it's over. Alright. I'll talk to you then. Lock. They haven't hit the gravity yep, yet. Jimmy. There's still too much interference to warn them. We've got to disable that other beam before they're pulled in like we were. Alright. And here come the Covenant. I was wondering why Infinity hadn't encountered the Covenant yet. What are they doing here? They're heading to the second pylon as well. That can't be a coincidence. Sounds like the Prometheans don't want the Covenant here either. The battle net's already lighting up with reports of resistance all around the pylon. Alright. Oh. Ah. Uh, oh, the simulation has frozen. Great. Michael, can you reboot it? Yeah, sure thing, Jimmy. Alright. Jimmy should be back to good stars. Alright, thanks, Michael. Anyway. Anyway. Ah, uh, Michael, it happened again. Oh no. Ah. Uh, let's try this one more time, Jimmy. Uh, otherwise I'll let you jump ahead in the mission. Yeah. Alright, you know what they say, that time's a charm. Are you sure, Michael? <laughs> Ah, uh, let's hope, Jimmy. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, I'll, I'll just send you ahead, Jimmy. I'll, I'll, I'll send you ahead. I think this one does have checkpoints, so... Um, yeah. I'll, I'll send you up ahead. Uh, Alright, Jimmy, you should be ahead now. I really hope you hope, Michael. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I hope. Ugh. This better work, Michael. Because my train of thought was starting to go towards, hey, maybe, like, wait a second. I already did this fight. Yeah, this is this fight. You sent me to the wrong checkpoint. But that shouldn't be. Okay, I'll um I'll I'll send you further forward, so yeah. Sorry about that, uh Jimmy, just clear the area. Yep, that's why I will do to make certain that I don't die. 
What the hell? I can use these? Yo, that's kind of cool. But yeah, but my train of thought was starting to head towards, you know, like, maybe, you know, you killing, you know, the O5 was a smart decision, and oh my god, it's more fun. There's more of them. There are more of them. Okay, god damn. I'm also detecting hostiles over here. I probably should just clear the area, to be honest. But my train of thought was starting to head towards Despite, you know, it doesn't seem like a rational thing to start it, you know, killing people. Maybe you had a fair point, you know, killing the O5 and all that, because in the end of the day, despite the struggles, you went to, you know, reform the foundation, you know, you know. In the end of the day, you know, you did successfully make the foundation stronger than ever. Yeah. This is cool, but I can't use the cool thing because of your simulation. Yeah, sorry Jimmy. Anyway, I'll send you to the right point. And yeah, I guess, you know, yeah, I guess my tactics did work. Yeah, because the foundation is truthfully a foundation for... I saw something. For, you know... You know... For, you know, dealing with the anomalies and all that and, you know... And, uh, you know, you know, I guess, uh, keeping the world safe, you know, but yeah, hopefully, uh, the surrender should be very soon now, after all this debacle. Anyway, just just send me to the next checkpoint. Yep, there's only one more, Jimmy, so I really hope it gets you to the right place. Yep. Alright, I'm ready though, Michael. Yep, Jimmy, sending you there. Alright, Jimmy, you should finally be at the right place, hopefully. You hope, Michael? Yeah, again, I'm not certain. Either way, yeah, good luck, Jimmy. That's the target, but it looks like the entrance is shielded. Not like that stopped you before. Uh, Let's figure out how to take it down. This is the first pylon. I'm guessing the scientists knew it was broken. And they only made checkpoints before the first pylon because everything beyond it is broken. Did you think of that, Michael? Ah, uh, no, Jimmy. Oh my god. Meaning I am done with this mission. I am firmly 100% gone. Once I'm safe though, but yeah. Hopefully that surrender.
comes like soon from Locke because you know I would like that you know yeah but yeah Anyway, I'll talk to you later, I guess. My thorn just One making of the shield's power cores. Take it out. Some the areas clear so I can you know safely leave the simulation. Yeah. But, uh, Jimmy, I do want to mention something to you, what, Michael. Well, uh, you know how things haven't been exactly the best for the world, you know. You know, economic issues, all that, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, the Foundation could help with that, you know. You know, seeing we basically have almost infinite wealth that we're not really using, you know, um, you know, it might be good to, you know, use some money for the people, you know, yeah, but also, you know, probably need to find other ways of saving money for the foundation because despite, you know, there's a lot of wealth, you know, you know, handing out a lot of wealth will, you know, just, you know, you know, create more info information, not information, inflation, um, But yeah, other than me butchering English, um, yeah, um, you know, um, you know, it, it may be a good thing, but we need to cut costs, so, you know, I want to cut cost of amnestics, um, you know, could be one thing to cut costs, but that would require the general public to know about uh, SCP. The Prometheans must have activated the pylon security protocols. I'm tracking three power sources below. Let's see what we can do about them. Sir, so, you're thinking about Introducing the general public to SCPs? Yeah. Exactly, Jimmy. Are you sure that's a wise idea, Michael? You know, the, the Foundation you know, has done this for you know, a long time. Well, a lot more people are aware of SCPs than ever before. Like, it's not exactly hidden. That's why, you know, a group like, you know, the MD Detective Agency can exist, you know, and others like uh, the group, you know, Stuart now works for. I guess that does make sense, you know. I read two more cores on our level. So, Hit them before you climb all the way up. So yeah, I, I guess that does make sense to make it more of public knowledge and it would save costs and allow for even more money to go into, you know, investing in those things. But how are you going to deal with, you know, the problem of, you know, some of the world thinks you're a criminal, you know, after what happened. Well, that's, you know, still an issue, you know, an ongoing issue, Jimmy, but, uh, you know, nonetheless, uh, you know, 
Well done, Chief. One to go. Um, you know, I'll, I'll find some way of solving it. I always do. And, uh, and plus, the old world governments, you know, you know, kind of a problem. And today it's just, you know, reminding me with, you know, you know, only turning against itself. Sometimes the simplest solution is often the easiest. Don't tell me you're going to kill them too, Michael. I could understand killing the O5 all the way back. Then, but killing the old world governments, you know, you know, that's kind of, I don't know, could be dangerous. Well, you know, there's the UNSC and, you know, yeah, again, there's been a long time bickering between, you know, the UNSC and the old world governments and old world governments aren't going to budge against the USC. The governments of the 21st century are basically fools. They may be, you know, fools are funding me, you know, but nonetheless, you know, I don't really need them, you know. Compared to, you know, the USC that are on board with me and actually trust me, you know, you know. They're just kind of been hindering me and the Foundation for a long time. You know, where the USC fully understands, you know, what's going on, you know. And have been fully supportive, you know, where the old world governments have always had stipulations and rules and all that that have slowed me down. So, you know. Great, that's all the cores. You know, to the top it of the might be a bad idea, but you know. I think, you know, in the end of the day, maybe it'll finally end my problem. Are you sure you want to go through this, Michael? It seems like, you know, a one-way, uh, you know, decision, you know. Once they're gone, they're gone, you know. You know. Well, knowing part of what's in my future, you know, eventually, you know, you know, a new, new governance will form for each, you know, country, you know, because another part of, you know, our future is, a uh, Deus Ex, you know. Oh yeah, true. Have you even spoken to William Taggart, Bill Taggart, whatever, in a while? No, I haven't. You know, I probably should, you know, do that. Yeah, you probably should, Michael. He probably already knows what decisions Jeez, you're going to make. He That's probably right already knows that, They're you know, his father, Henry Taggart, the administrator himself, is alive. Oh, yeah. I guess even he was keeping secrets from me. God damn, is there no one that isn't keeping a secret from me? This is kind of ridiculous. Did he say forward unto dawn? They must have intercepted our distress beacon. The beacon was pulling yeah. the Requiem with us. If they try to follow it... They'll get caught in the gravity well. I'll keep trying to warn them. You just get that beam down. 
It, it, it seems like... That's the beam control. It, it seems like... You know... You it's know... Working. The signal from the relay is starting possibly, to clear up. you know... Kept secrets for the order of the timeline. Yeah. They haven't hit the gravity well yet. There's still too much interference to warn them. We've got to disable that other beam before they're pulled in like we were. Yeah. I was wondering why Infinity hadn't encountered the Covenant yet. What are they doing here? They're heading to the second pylon as well. That can't be a coincidence. You should speak to William. Yeah. Hey, Taggart, do you read me? Yes, Michael. It's been a long time. How have things been? Uh, good. How about you? Uh, maybe not the best. I could need your help in, uh, the future, but I'm sure you've been busy. I know probably what time it is for you. Yeah. Right at the height of, I guess, fighting the living darkness. Yes, I'm certain you're up to Rick by this point. Yeah, Taggart, I am. Yeah, good luck with that, you know. But hey, at least one thing you know is that things will sort itself out eventually. I guess that's true. But yeah, Sounds like I'm surprised you don't want kept the here secrets from me, Tag, as the well. That's hey, up I'm a puzzle Illuminati. What do you expect? I guess that's true. Yeah. And I'm sure you're knowing about what you're about to do. So, the governments reform after, yep, you're about to kill them. Damn. Yeah, that's a damn from me as well, Michael. Like, you are about to kill the old world governments and they're about to start to form into the governments that will be to come, you know. You know, later down, you know, the decades. Because currently, when, you know, the 2020s, but by the 2050s, you know, they were really formed and resettled to be, you know, the Deus Ex governments with the USC, you know, much more suitable governments for every country in the world. Yeah. I just didn't really expect, you know, you know, you know, I would do something, you know, from my past, you know, again. Yeah. And here's the hall. I am not going in the hall. Um, yeah. God damn. Well, Michael, you better go do what you were always going to do. Yeah. How are things anyway, Taggart? Yeah, again, not the best, but you can help me later, you know. You've got bigger fish to fry right now. I'll see you when you do eventually return to Deus Ex. Yep. Ah. Uh, I'll, I'll leave you be for now, Michael. Yep. So, yeah. Good luck. Yep. See you around, Taggart. You're probably still fairly young right now. Yeah. 
if I'm correct at the time, currently I should be, uh, 14 years old, you know, because it's 2024, correct? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I would be 14 years old, you know, I think, yeah, because, yeah. Yeah, I would be 14, yeah. Well, good luck to you two. Yep, see you, Taggart. Well, it seems like I've got business to attend to. Yep, good luck with that, uh, Michael. Yep. Alright, I better get every assassin I know. No. Wait, I know an right? easy way. Aurora. Ah, uh, yeah, ghost. That'll definitely help. Yeah. Well, this is, uh... Basically... Isn't it a, a coup? That's the thing when you go against a government? Yeah, I think so, Michael. Yeah. I'm basically committing a worldwide coup. Except against the USC. Yeah. Oh. I'll talk to you later, Jimmy. I've got this to do, yep. Oh, man. Man, Michael's my... Ugh, I can't speak. Michael's life is crazy. Can't believe he's gonna introduce the public to SCPs to cut down on the cost of amnestics. Uh. I feel like, I don't know, I'm getting a sense of something more to the amnestics. Hey Jimmy, why is it Michael? Why are you contacting me? I forgot to mention something about the amnestics. Why is it? I'm developing new amnestics. Um, using uh, Void Essence and Abyss Essence. I see. It seems like Void Essence and Abyss Essence, you know, it's really useful for amnestics. So yeah, and obviously seeing, you know, Abyss Essence is more powerful than Void um, Essence, you know. Um, Abyss Essence is basically the best amnestics we've ever developed. Ah, oh, cool. Neat. Well, I'll, I'll leave you be, Michael, yeah. And also, did you hear about, uh, the SCP chair? Oh yeah, the SCP chair. Wasn't that once read by a GOC, but it's recently been re reformed thanks to you? Yeah. It, it's finally back to its old self. Ah. Uh. Well, that's, you know, a happy ending for that chair. Yep, indeed. And hopefully it'll help, you know, you know, spread word of, you know, you know, SCPs being introduced to society. Yep. Well, I'll see you later, Michael. Yep. See you later, Jimmy. Oh, man. Well, uh, I guess it's time for me to... Leave the simulation, nothing else for me to do because as soon as I go through this hole, the simulation's going to crash. Maybe I should end it with a crash, you know. It'd be a lot more fitting, you know, to end it like how this all seemed to start. Yeah. I haven't even gotten word of, uh, the surrender yet. I better check on Locke. Locke, have they surrendered? Yeah, Jimmy, they've surrendered. Oh, thank God. Sorry I didn't contact you sooner. It was just consolidating things here only. Oh, thank God. That the situation's over, yeah. Ah, uh, you know. It is what it is. Yeah. Well, I'll talk to you later. 
block, um, I'm sure, you know, we're going to be talking more since now you're a leader of Black Ops, but yeah, it's a good thing this war could end swiftly. Yep. It's more of like a civil war than anything. A very small one. Yeah. Well, uh, talk to you later, Locke. Yep, talk to you later, Jimmy. Alright. Well, might as well end the simulation by going into the hall. Is there any way I can get past this? I really doubt that. I doubt it. Yep. It ends like this. Well, I guess that's it. This simulation. God damn. Oh man, what's going on? Things are so weird. How did COVID appear again out of nowhere? Oh God. What's happening to the governments? This is not a great day. What's going on with the world? Code's back after that mysterious group known as, I think, the Foundation solved it, like, four years back. Like, three, four years ago. Whatever, like, it wasn't 2020, it was 2021 when it was sold, yeah, because something weird happened with the foundation back then, I don't know, all I know is I gotta live my life, you know, no one's gonna harm good old me, good old Sebastian, gotta roll with the punches, but something feels wrong, like, Everything's in chaos. Covid's back out of nowhere. Government seems to be going through changes. You know, what the hell's going on? <sighs> I've been standing out in the sun for so long I feel like I'm going to faint. I really need a chair or something. And a chair you shall have. What the hell? Did that chair speak? Yeah, I heard that too. Me too. Like, what's going on with that chair? Hey there. I'm uh, a chair. And I come to people that need a chair. I've recently been reformed plus some extra abilities. Like what? Let me show you. Now I can form multiple on myself. Hey there. Hey. Hello. Hi. There's multiple of me now. What the hell? What the hell? Are these those... I've heard rumors of SCPs. Yeah, me too. SCP is being introduced. Yeah. But yeah, I'm also now with, you know, new powers and, you know, after, you know, Michael spoke to me, I sort of gained a lot of knowledge. So yeah, it's nice to meet you, Orange Puppet. Orange Puppet? You're the Orange Puppet. You're Sebastian, right? Um, I'm Sebastian, but I don't know any Orange Puppet. But what do you mean? You are the orange puppet. You have to be. Something is wrong. Let me call Orange. Hey Orange, do you read me? Yeah, why is it? Um, the chair. Do you even have a name? I haven't come up with a human name. Give me some time, you know. You know. You know, I only just was reformed into a chair. Before that, I was literally wood mulch, you know. Fair enough. But what's going on? Well, you're here right now. What do you mean I'm here? You're standing in front of me. Are you 
uh, who I think is you is standing out in front of me. What do you mean? I'm coming over there. Stay there. All right. That sounded like me over the phone because it is you. Something is wrong here. I better contact Michael. Michael, we've got something seriously wrong here. You better come here like immediately. All right, I've just finished, you know, killing the world governments. Did he just say he killed the world governments? Is that why the world governments are in chaos? Oh, there's, you put on speaker, didn't you? I don't have hands, Michael. You should have thought about that before you gave me a phone. Fair enough. You know. I should have said to not speak a mode. Yeah, you should have thought about that, Michael. Who's Michael? Isn't he that guy that saw your foundation? Yeah, I think so. Is you know, leader of foundation or something like that from ruins. I'm getting over there to explain things. No one move an inch. I'm not moving an inch until I find out what's going on. Yeah, and we're somewhat curious too. Orange will also be there, Michael. Alright. I'll be there right soon. What's the problem? Wait a second. Orange, why is there two of you? Yeah. Uh, that's the same question I currently have, Michael. Chad, you know what's going on. No idea. Alright, let me talk to you, Orange. Excuse me. What the hell is going on? Who are you guys? Don't worry about this. Why are there two of that fellow named Sebastian? Orange, what's going on here? I have no the faintest clue, Michael. What the hell is going on here? Who are you? I've got to check something with me. Hey, you, Sebastian, yeah? Um, you know, who are you? Um, I'm Sebastian. Sebastian Bosa. Well, he definitely shares my same first and last name, uh... How old are you? Me? 42. Well, that's simply incorrect. I'm only 21, turning 22 this year. Oh yeah, I'm about to turn 42. Not 42 quite yet. Sorry, I'm a little bit ahead of myself. I don't know, something with time, time dilation. You're a bit behind me. Um, you'd probably think that's already past July, don't you? Yeah, I, I do. Well, it ain't even close. It's, well, April... Technically, but also technically also uh, uh, January, so yeah, that's probably why you think it's past July. It's sort of like a plus or minus of three months on the time dilation, so yeah, it has been reducing slowly, like if we had this conversation like a week ago, then the time dilation would have been plus or minus like four months, but it has been reducing uh, over time. Okay, but what's going on? Well, uh, from what I can tell, you're me, but how much of me are you? Are you born 
in uh, Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, yeah, well that's n not changed. Wait, I thought you were a Queenslander. Yeah, I lived in Queensland most of my life except the first six months of my life. Yeah, exactly, that's how long I was there. Well, that hasn't changed. But I'm, you know, a 21-year-old in a, you know, 40-year-old body, you know, because this isn't, you know, my proper body. But it seems like for him, he actually is, you know, me, potentially. Let me scan him, Michael. Yeah, he is me. But uh, this, you know... The universe is uh, me, because in the end of the day, this is still a universe, uh, another version of reality, despite, you know, all the SEP stuff, you know, and despite me, you know, breaking the fourth wall and making myself, you know, a character version of myself, nonetheless, it's entirely possible that despite, you know, all, all the weird stuff, that there would be a me here in this world, because, you know, multiverse, anything's possible, just this me is an older me, someone who has lived basically almost 42 years of their life. And yeah... This is all so confusing. Yeah, I mean, I bet it is for you. You're all probably just lived a normal life, you know. You never probably started a YouTube or anything. So that means you never met Kim. Kim Oneko. Who's that? Oh my god. You don't know who... Oh my god, this is... Wow. This is basically me if I didn't meet one of the most important people in my life, Michael. Um, Kim Oneko is the creator of Steward. Wait. So that means they basically essentially are Steward. And... That's part of the reason why you haven't seen Stuart in a while. It all depends on another actual real person, Kim. The person that got me into making characters in the first place. Without Kim, you wouldn't exist, Michael. Damn. Because she's the one that was like, Hey, this... You know, police guard undercover should be, you know, an SCP guard since you're, you know, a fan of that. So, yeah. she is the literal reason you are even standing here right now, Michael. Without Kim, I probably never would have done YouTube, Twitch, any of that, Michael. You would not be standing here right now, Michael. And it seems like something that happened in my past is about to happen. Which is scanning from right here. It seems like past me was about to potentially faint in a, a, a lineup for COVID vaccination. Just like what happened back in like uh, uh, 2021, I believe, for me. Um, it, it's been a while, but... Um, it was either 2021 or 2022. I kind of forget, but yeah. Whenever I got my vaccination, I also uh, fainted and yeah. It was an embarrassing moment. And it seems like history strikes twice. Yeah. But it feels like more than a coincidence that we're ending up here. Almost like... Time is being messed with. Well, I obviously already know that. I mean, the doctor, you know, 
is being messed with by Living Darkness by Rick. What is Rick doing to time? I don't know, but you better figure out that quickly, Michael. Yeah. I think it's about time that I investigate the past. But how would I even do that? I don't exactly have a time machine. Well, something's telling me that potentially the void has been potentially messed with. Ever since you opened up, you know, the abyss, some consequences happen to a void, you know. Despite the void, you know, you know, technically, you know, you know, only be able to travel space, it did once seemingly do time, you know, only once. Do you remember what happened in Noir? Uh, it's a bit fuzzy. Um, well, Noir was technically a past version of itself. Oh yeah, it was when I entered it the first time. Even, you know, from what I checked, like, the, the footage of uh, Stuart and Rogers, like, Stuart, like, you know, made a comment about time travel, like, you can bring things from the future back to the past. How did I forget that? The Void has technically the powers of time. But lost those at some point, probably due to, you know, all the, you know, stuff that would happen later with time, you know, the first of which would probably be, you know, the administrator sending you through, you know, time and all that. Um, but nonetheless, uh, all that, the constant stuff that continues to seem to happen with time that's probably been damaging to time, you know, you know, ever since then, the void has time travel power, so it's just been untapped, you know, I guess maybe the abyss would be able to do the same thing as well, you know, but since it's a lot more grounded in the center of the universe, you know, um, yeah, again, abyss is easier for travel than time, but the void, you know, is both time and travel, you know, you know, it's basically, in a way, you know, the tires, it takes you where you need to be, Michael. Yeah, that's what's always seemingly done. Does that mean the void potentially has a consciousness to it? I mean, yeah, maybe it does, Michael. You know, just maybe it hasn't been able to speak, you know, with you know, time being damaged probably ever since, you know, you know, back originally when the two universes combined, you know, you know, maybe even further back, who knows how long it's been damaged, but nonetheless, the void will hopefully take you to the right time. You can't make certain things don't happen in the past that will affect, you know, the present, you know. you got to save time, Michael. All right. Okay, I'm finally going to go deal with payday then. Find out what happened back then. Hopefully I don't end up being the cause of it. Yeah, hopefully this isn't the living darkness plan. Yeah, Rick is smart. What the hell is going on? Don't worry, citizens. 
There will be a way of things of the unknown soon enough. You all will, for better or for worse. Anyway, what should we do with you? Well, it is just the me of this universe. It deserves to live his own life, you know. I say we stop bothering him and yeah, let him take a seat, you know, and with uh, the chair, yeah. Sorry, I've forgotten your SCP number. It's fine, Michael. You'll remember it later. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. Let's just let him rest and I've got business to attend to. Got issues in the park. Yep, good luck, Michael. Yep, see you around, Orange. I'm sure, you know, you'll be around. Yep, I will be. And see you, I chair. Yep, see you. And see you, uh, past, uh, well, you're not past Sebastian, you're technically future Sebastian, or I have no idea, but see you around if I ever see you again. What the hell's going on? Don't need to worry about it, hopefully. Hopefully darkness doesn't target you. I don't see much reason why. But yeah, time for me to teleport out of here. This will be quite a tale for Jimmy later. Anyway, time to teleport out of here. God damn.